neurons and the nervous system. Your nervous system carries chemical and electrical signals from your body to your brain and from your brain to your body. Before we can understand our actions, memories, and feelings, we need to understand how information from the environment gets into our bodies and how our bodies process it. There are two components of the nervous system, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system, on the other hand, contains the neurons that connect the central nervous system, or CNS, to the rest of the body. Information comes into our senses like our eyes and ears through what's called sense receptors. The sense receptors change environmental energy into electronic energy. Then they send it down a highway of sensory neurons to the brain. The senses talk to the brain through these sensory neurons. Next, we'll talk about motor morons. Cut! That's neuron, not moron, you idiot. The motor neurons carry messages in the opposite direction, from the central nervous system to the muscles and glands. The brain talks to the muscles and glands through the motor neurons. Interneurons carry messages between neurons. They're like the telephone lines that carry the chemical and electrical signals that are being passed along from one neuron to another. So, any halfwit can see that neurons are the basic building blocks of the nervous system. But what are neurons made of? Neurons are made up of a bunch of little parts that work together to send electrical and chemical messages on their way from one part of the body to another. First, the dendrites receive the neural messages coming in from other neurons. The message is then sent to the cell body and on through the axon, an extension of the neuron which carries the message through its branching fibers to the dendrites of the next neuron. A myelin sheath, which is a layer of fatty cells, insulates the axon, helping to speed the travel of impulses. To travel from one neuron to the next, the signal has to cross a synapse, the space between the axon of the sending neuron and the dendrites of the receiving neuron. The signal rides across the space called the synaptic gap on chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. The chemicals acetylcholine and dopamine are examples of neurotransmitters which carry the message across the synaptic gap. Then, they attach themselves to the receiving neuron. The neurotransmitter and the neuron must fit together like puzzle pieces. Neurons will fire an impulse when they are stimulated by some kind of electrical energy, like a stimulation from the environment or an impulse coming in from another neuron. The impulse is a quick electrical charge called the action potential. Neurons never fire half a shot, so to speak. So the nervous system is a way your body's parts communicate with each other. The peripheral nervous system, or PNS, sends signals from the body to the central nervous system, or CNS. Sensory neurons carry electrical impulses through the peripheral nervous system to the brain, and motor neurons carry messages from the brain to the muscles and glands. Interneurons, they carry messages between neurons, Neurotransmitters like dopamine and acetylcholine are chemicals that carry the message across the synaptic gap between one neuron and the next. And as soon as they receive that message in the form of an electrical impulse called the action potential, neurons fire. Neurons, like guns, either fire or they don't. This is called all or none firing.